you got a a cobia! What? You got a cobia! What's up guys, Brandon Jay. Today we're gonna be doing a fishing challenge at the world's most dangerous hotel. If you guys haven't seen the Strand at Sea series, basically we're in the middle of the ocean on the frying pan tower. We're in international waters outside of the US on an old Coast Guard lighthouse. Now for the past seven days, we've been out here adventuring, exploring, and doing a bunch of survival videos. Today is the last day we're here and I thought it would be really cool to do a fishing challenge. Now, I don't really know where in the scope of videos this one lines up. I could have already, you know, finished the whole season. Um, but today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box and Carl's, uh, which we'll get into in a little bit later. So, of course, I had to kind of switch up the timelines on when this could be uploaded. So for the last seven days, I've been doing a lot of spear fishing and a lot of regular fishing. I got attacked by sharks, lost my spear and well, the regular fishing didn't go so hot either because we didn't catch anything that we could necessarily eat. So with that being said, I'm hoping this fishing challenge isn't gonna be too hard, but let's go ahead and open the boxes and see what's inside. First up, we're gonna start with the mystery tackle box. Now, the goal is to get stuff that we can throw 70 foot off the side of this tower and uh, find stuff that relatively looks like bait fish. These are bass fishing lures, so it's not necessarily uh, designed for what we're doing. Oh boy. This is absolutely going to crush. Topwater frog, probably no good. These are gonna be legendary and pairing it with a jig. I might be able to bounce it off the bottom and get that grouper. Soft plastics that I don't think will work out here. And this crazy spinnerbait thing that may just be crazy enough to work. Oh, and uh, some more worms. Wacky rig, but while that may slay bass, I don't think it's gonna slay the saltwater fish. We'll see. So for the mystery tackle box, I set up two piles. This is the probably won't work pile. And this is the, I think this will slay them pile right here. This is definitely gonna get demolished. And these guys, those are gonna be money. Now, mystery tackle box is having a crazy holiday sale, but so is Carl's. And Carl's actually sent me a box of the 10,000 fish kit. It's a brand of Carl's. They've got some really good stuff. I've never actually seen a box like this. And I'm hoping, even though it's bass gear, I'm hoping it'll be good out here. Juice, mega juice. You gonna get sunburn? Don't worry, we got a Neko. We're definitely catching fish on these. So far, I haven't found something I don't like. Spinnerbait? Maybe pile. Crawls? Could look like a blue lobster, I guess? As long as we don't break the line, we will catch 10,000 fish on this 10,000 fish lure. I guarantee So for the 10,000 fish box, these are all the lures that I think will crush, and these two are the only two that I think Kind of maybe not. I mean, this could do it, but I don't, I'm not confident in that. So while I think both the boxes gave us really good options, I think the next step is we're actually going to try to catch a bait fish first and then try to match the hatch. So we'll see what bait fish looks like, what lure the best, and then we'll just use that one first. But before we get into the fishing, I want to tell you about the special deals that Mystery Tackle Box and Shop Carl's are running for the holidays. They're so good that I brought these boxes all the way out into the middle of the ocean just to tell you about this crazy sale. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since being out stranded in the middle of the ocean, turns out the deals that I put in this video have actually changed. But good news for you, they've actually gotten better, believe it or not. First things first though, if you guys do want your stuff for Christmas, this week is the best time to order to ensure you get your stuff delivered before Christmas. Not only that, the deals are great, but supplies unfortunately are limited. So if you want some mystery tackle boxes under the tree, you better go ahead and get them now. Now, if you're trying to save them dollars, which I'm sure you are, you can use code SAVE15 off any mystery tackle box subscription and you're gonna save 15%. It's as easy as that. But if you're more of a Carl's kind of guy and you wanna check out this kit or anything on Carl's, you can use my code JIGGIN10. You're gonna save $10 off if you've never shopped on Carl's before and you order $25 or more. With that being said, thank you Mystery Tackle Box and Carl's for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the middle of the ocean and the frying pan tower and figure out what kind of fish we can catch on these bad boys. Damn, we got bait, bro. We got bait, I'm bringing them 70 foot up, baby. Now we can see what we need to match the hatch with. This was the test. Oh, dude, I have not seen this kind of bait yet. What? Oh, shoot. What the heck? No, no, no! What the? I think out of all of these, it's gonna be either one of these two. 
We've got little white swimmers and we've got this guy right there. It's got kind of a darker back. So now we know what one to use. Let's throw this on a hook though too. We're gonna see about that. We're gonna see how that goes. You thinking that's the deal? I'm thinking that's getting ripped off ASAP Rocky. We'll see, we'll drop it down there. It does look good. I do see some color down there. Look straight down, you see that color under there? Like not straight down actually, like where that seaweed is, like under that seaweed. Yeah. Oh, we also have a big old sea turtle down there. I know it looks tiny from here, but trust me, that thing is freaking giant. Look at that, it's beautiful. These by far look the best in the water because their little tail just goes when the uh, current's ripping. The problem is we've had to have this set up where we have this little bait here, but then we have like a giant weight on the bottom and it just kind of like throws the whole thing off. But I have to have a giant weight because the current's ripping so hard and we're so high up that the wind just carries our line off away. So I think this is gonna solve the problem. I'm gonna take this jig. It's a half ounce jig. It's, it's not a lot of jig, but I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna pair this jig with this and put it on the bottom where the weight should go. Maybe even like try to disguise a weight on this. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna rig this up where basically it's a double trouble jig situation. And then also you got two bait fish. So the Cuda already swiped at this guy and they don't swipe at anything that's dead really. So tricked them enough. I don't know, we'll see. Oh. Dude, if my bait's in that, it's getting moved. They're coming. They, oh my God, dude. They're coming, my bait's over there. My bait's really close to that bait ball. Oh my God. My bait is by that bait ball. I see, I see fish ripping through there. Come on. Guys, Trav hooked up. Is it good? It's big. It is? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it is? What do you got, brother? Oh my God, what do you have? Oh my God, you've got a, a cobia! You've got a cobia! No, 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 no. Oh my God. You keep them on, keep them on. We're gonna figure it out. Holy hell. How the hell did you catch a cobia? Oh my God, it's dinner, brother. How in the hell? We got a Kobe on. No. No, did he come off? He came off. No. no. I don't believe you. I don't see any no. Kobe. There's no Kobe down there. How in the hell did you do that? They're still right there on the tower. That's or that's Kudas. <laughs> Dang, bro. Trav hooked up on the on the cobia. It was a pretty big one too. Yeah, no, it was a good one. It was a hundred percent a eater cobia. Hey, uh, yeah, I you knew where I was gone. We're going. We got a we got a line gaff. Fishing's not going too hot. Food is at an all time low. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Travis and I did not bring food on our seven day survival challenge. Not because we wanted to be the ultimate survivalist. Uh, because we didn't know we were supposed to bring food. So I rummaged around and I actually found these Fritos. Before this, I found popcorn. Um, and its date was Best Buy June of 2015. So that's been expired for a while considering it's 2021. Um, I did find these Fritos and I searched all over. And sure enough, it says, Guaranteed fresh until printed date. 30th of November 2021 so uh, these literally have a month left uh, before they're no good so I'm gonna crack into these hungry very very hungry so the wind picked up the fishing has become more terrible and uh, at least it's beautiful though this is the last sunset that I'm gonna get out here it is beautiful. I know the audio is terrible, right? The wind—it's just 
she's a ripping. I guess while I'm up here, I can tell you that um, I tried my best with the fishing lures. It's not that it they don't work, it's that they just don't work for me. God dang, it's a freaking hurricane up here. This is how I lost my hat. Freaking chicken hatch just swimming in the freaking ocean somewhere. Lost my spear gun because I got attacked by sharks on an earlier video. I can't catch a fish out here. It's freaking windy as hell. But I'm gonna miss this place a lot. A lot, a lot. Can a guy just catch a break, you know? I gotta hide behind the freaking lighthouse tower to even be able to talk to you guys. It's like the wind break, so. <sighs> it's been a hard day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard fishing off this freaking tower because you're way up and then the line goes way down and you can't just cast the lures, you gotta jig them and whatever. Travis had a cobia on, that's all that matters. Freaking cobia, just sick. But, <laughs> wasn't much else after that, <laughs> to be honest with you. Well, we tried everything except snagging barracuda, pretty much, but man, it's crazy. Crazy, man. This place is so freaking cool. It's like moments like this where I'm like, damn, man, like how the hell did we end up in this situation? You know, like we're on a helicopter pad in the middle of the freaking ocean in international waters. We're not even in the United States anymore. It's like, how the hell did we get here? You know, it's crazy. <sighs> freaking sea turtle back there. The fishing part's over, I think, guys. I don't, I mean, I don't know what else to do. Just kind of taking it in. It's just beautiful out here. 